Hello there. Uh, welcome. Uh, so yeah, so I posted this on the Steam uh, Workshop to available to download. So this is just sort of a bit of a cover video, just to, so you know what to expect. Go through some of the functions and stuff. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is make like a just a big platform, or if you're building a warehouse or whatever your intentions are. Uh, each bit's just connected by the caution block, so just disconnect it, and then you can place it around. Same with the forklift, and you can place that on your platform. And with the rack, uh, just put that caution block there just for. Just for ease of welding it. Um, yeah, and then you're ready to go. Uh, I say yeah, I've built a few warehouses and stuff. I've got. A, um, I might do a couple of videos on it just to sort of show it. Um, but this is obviously just for the forklift and rack. Um, I'll leave it up to you. However, you're going to use it. So the first thing is all the workings is in here. I don't know why this happens, but it gets stuck. Putting a few blocks on for some reason. Scrap mechanic, collisions, all that jazz. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's all the workings. Uh, this is what I meant by the tick buttons. These are the tick buttons here, but for some reason they don't show up in the level 5 seat. Um, but they do work from it, so it's all good. Uh, same thing, it doesn't close, just put a block on it. Again, I'm not really sure. But anyway, so yeah, so the little rotating beacon things just done on the sensors behind the driver. And you've got basic functions. So you've got one is just the lights, two is the tilt back, three is the carriage up and down. Uh, sorry, just up, four is the carriage down. And then you've got the main mast, which is five is up, and then six is down. And then you've got the opening and closing of the forks. So just get a better view. So you've got seven and then eight. It's closing. Seven open. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll just show the so the degree of steering is uh, on 85 at the moment. I find that's probably pretty good for forklift. I think that's probably like a real life, maybe between. I think it's about between 70 and the 85 degrees, not 100%, but something like that. But yeah, I find that's pretty good. Quite a tight uh, turning uh, circle. Uh, turn speed for the bearings, I've got it on two. Otherwise, it gets a bit jerky as you sort of turn. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, and then you can make up your own little pallets and loads and stuff give it a try, see what you can lift it's fairly decent yeah quite like it, quite pleased with it hope you guys like it as well um, yeah, any questions just uh, yeah, leave some comments And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, cheers guys. See ya.